morning campers uh quick update update yeah new job actually not an update uh over the last few weeks we've noticed that our uh, boiler is not performing as well on uh, electric as it normally does um not really noticed it too much during the summer so it could have been longer um, but obviously as it's getting a bit colder now we are noticed that the the rear of the motorhome um, is not getting quite so warm as it normally does on electric um, and the water's taking longer to heat up so did a bit of digging um, and the conclusion i've come to is that i've got an element out in the boiler uh, so i've got two on order they're arriving today uh, and today's job is to get the boiler out and um, yeah strip it apart i've already taken this front cover off and the electrical connections to the uh, to the elements and i've done a done a reading across them and one of them is uh, open circuit so i know it's blown and is the one that's on the left which would tally up with the um, the heating not being so great to the uh, rear of the motorhome because that's where the that's where the takeoff points for that side are uh, i'm just about to disconnect all the electrics and the exhaust pipe and, and everything else and pop it out um, take the end covers off and i'll do updates as we go along right so this is front cover off these are the elements connections anyway the two with the white cables this is the one that's blown the one on the left uh, obviously when you're checking resistance on these things um, don't have them connected because they all read through each other or any residual wiring so make sure they're all connected when you check them they should be around 58.1 58 um, anything drastically different to that indicates that one's either failed or is about to fail um, this one on the left was open circuit so absolutely no reading at all so that ties up with what I said earlier about it being colder on the left hand side of the, uh, the outputs at the end so we get the other end off find out what's going on at the end uh, just as a check, a visual check, I'm not sure how easy I'm going to be able to do this with one hand. But this is the, the good one. So as I say, 58-ish. And then on the... Suspect one. We have open circuit. So definitely that one. Now just to get it out. Right, so this is the back of the boiler. <clears throat> As you can see, these two elements slide into two little grooves yeah, in the heating fins. That's the gas chamber in there. This is the water jacket. Water jacket on the outside. Um, so yeah, obviously when the gas is running that heats up and radiates out to the fins when these are on, when you're on electric, um, these heat up and, and radiate out. Which is why you also get hot water even when it's not on and you're running the, uh, running the heating. These apparently can be a real pain to get out of here, if not impossible. This one, which is the blown one, has actually come out with a little bit of tapping and a little bit of wiggling. Yeah, this one, which is not blown, but I'm going to change anyway because they come in pairs, is proving a little bit more difficult. But uh, she will come out one way or the other. So that's the last one out. That was a pig to get out. Lots of wiggling, levering, etc. And the reason it was a pig to get out, is, although that this isn't the one that failed, it's split. And obviously, as it's split, it's expanded and that caused it to be a very tight in the slot. Always change them both. Right, all back together, all back in, connected up, no leaks, all working as it should be. Um, yeah, that was uh, easier than I thought it was and easier than I've read online. Some people say I'm having absolute nightmares getting those uh, elements out. I had a bit of problem with the one, um, but yeah, it came out in the end. It, it wasn't it wasn't so bad. 
I've read stories of people uh, wrecking the heat exchanger, trying to get them out. Um, but no, nah, not in this case. Um, Truma don't actually sell the elements on their own anymore, so I found out. They now only supply a complete burn chamber, um, which is somewhere in the region of about 500 to 600 pound just for the chamber. Um, so there was no way I was going to um, cough up for that. So I got my elements from an online, apparently CE marked or um, made for trimmer combi boilers. Uh, there are some on eBay and I did order a set of those prior to the, this. Uh, these ones I've got in there now. Uh, and when they turned up they were not the right dimensions. Um, there was no way they was going to go in so they've, they've gone back. I will post a link to the company where I got them from. Um, I don't know whether it's something they're going to be able to continue to get. Uh, they were £155 plus postage, needed, 20, uh, needed 48 hour postage, so that cost me another 7 quid. But in comparison to uh, a new burn chamber or a, a new heat exchanger chamber or a new unit, um, it was pretty cheap. It took me about 4 hours. Um, I am fairly mechanically minded, um, but it is doable. It's in minimum tools, um, you know screwdrivers, spanners, um, it can be done, um, it's it's not rocket science, you just have to be careful, uh, the only thing you obviously need, might need to get check, is the gas connection, when you break the gas connection, um, you might want to get that checked, I'm lucky enough that where I work, um, there's, there's a guy here that does that, so he will come and check mine for me, thank you.